Good morning, everyone. I am Richila B. Akabado from the Gaon Central Pilot School, and I'll be discussing to you the continuation topic of Miss Amy Cedinho, which is about the heredity and environment. She already discussed the heredity, and now I am going to explain to you all about the environment. environment. As mentioned earlier, heredity is responsible for all the inborn traits, the instincts, emotions, the IQ, reflex action, and physical traits. Now, we are going to learn all about environment. These two, uh, heredity and environment, are not opposed to each other. They are complementary, like seed and soil, ship and current, warp and wolf, bed and stream. Both of these forces are required for the same purpose. Okay, so what do you mean by environment? So, environment is nothing but the sum total of the surroundings in which an individual has to live. Psychologically, an individual's environment is related to all those stimuli which he faces from the moment of fertilization till death. In other words, the environment is responsible for the growth and development of the physical, mental, and social traits. So there are two types of environment. We have the natural and social environment. Natural environment is, or it refers to all those things and forces on and around the earth that influence a person. Well, Social environment, um, the environment which the person sees around himself on acquiring consciousness in the society. So, like language, niya, religion, custom, tradition, means of communication, means of luxury, family, school, and social groups. So, Okay, so what is the educational implication of heredity and environment? Is this important? Yes, it is very important. It is important that we know the educational implication of heredity and environment. The knowledge of heredity and environment has a great influence on human development. Human development is the product of both heredity and environment. The development pattern of the children is determined by both heredity and environment. As per the developmental pattern of the children, the educational pattern, methods, and learning environment should be made by the teacher in the teaching learning situation. So the knowledge of heredity and environment helps the teacher in various ways which we are discuss here under. So, malaki po ang tulong ng na we know the we know our we know the background of our learners. So, first, knowledge of heredity and environment helps the teacher to know the varying needs and abilities of the children. Of course, if the teachers know or has the deep understanding of his or her learner, she or he can address the, address the needs of her pupils, okay? It helps to provide proper guidance to his children in the field of educational, vocational, and personal. personal. So, for example, in the career guidance, the teacher can easily identify the field that the learner can be choose of. So in the career guidance, if we know our children, if we know our learners, we can properly guide them. Next is, it helps the teacher to classify the students as gifted, normal, 
or a slow learner and arrange different types of education for them. In other words, the teacher can classify the, their level and belongingness if there is diagnosed as special child, so the teacher can refer or send the child to the special teacher and the teacher can address the needs of the learners. Then, it helps the teacher to provide better learning environment in the school. Then, it helps the teacher to know the principle of principle of individual differences and arrange the educational experience accordingly. It helps the teacher to study the behavior of the children under different situations. Then the last one is it helps the teacher to organize various curricular and co-curricular programs for the best benefit of the children. So in other words, if we know our learners, we know them very well, we can provide what they need. Okay, so I have here, a, I have prepared here a, a short quiz, which is heredity or environment. So you will just identify if it is heredity or it is environment or both. So there are many factors that influence the development of a child in the blank or in the piece of paper. Uh, write H if the factor is influenced by heredity and E if the factor is influenced by the environment and B if the factor is influenced by both the environment and heredity. So there are 10 items here. Uh, you will be given 60 seconds to answer the following items. Okay, so let's start now. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's check if your answers are this. You are correct. Okay. So again. All right. Thank you very much for watching, for listening, and have a nice day, everyone.